is going on, you moto freaks? This is Moto Noir, and I'm heading into work again again work 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 oh ladies and gentlemen boys and gals and other i have a story for you right now i'm hoping that this camera works hoping about four weeks ago my gopro hero 4 just uh crapped out that's right the one i just got my brand new gopro hero 4 just gave out stopped working after work i had strapped on my camera to shoot a vlog went to try and turn it on and nothing so I thought, oh man, I let the battery die or something and, you know, blamed it on myself first. Because like 99.10% of the time, <laughs> it's user error, you know? So when I got home and I was able to plug everything in, you know, pop in the other batteries that I have and everything like that, the camera was just dead. Dead, 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 dead. Deader than a doornail. Um, so, so luckily the camera was under warranty and I contacted GoPro and GoPro was really awesome. They said that they would ship out another uh, a GoPro Hero 4 for me. And no complaints, GoPro freaking fantastic in the customer service department so i ship off my old camera they receive it a few days later and then they tell me that they're shipping out my replacement so i get a notification that my replacement has arrived and i'm ecstatic i'm really happy so i rush home and go over to the fedex holding facility that my uh my camera is at put the box in my backpack ride home and then i open the box do you guys remember when Chase on Two Wheels, I don't know if you guys watched Chase on Two Wheels, but he ordered a like $6,000 camera on Amazon. And when it arrived at his house, it was nothing more than a box of rocks. Couldn't possibly happen to me, could it? It did happen to me. <laughs> I literally opened the box and I'm like, huh, it doesn't feel right. It actually felt a little too heavy, but I was just like, eh, what? Whatever, could be just packing or whatever. Nope, they had put a tiny bag of stones where the GoPro had been. So I contact FedEx, FedEx opens up an investigation. I contact GoPro, GoPro opens up an investigation. In the meantime, GoPro's like, all right, we'll send you out another one. You know, we have insurance for this sort of thing and blah, blah, blah. Here's what I think happened. I think in the sorting process, somewhere along the line, coming from California to New York, someone saw on the box that it said GoPro. So I decided to take a little sneak peek. Could this be a camera or is this an accessory? It was a tiny little box. It's a tiny box. So it could have been anything. And they opened it up and they found a little camera and they're like, oh, well, no one would know if I open this up and make this little camera my own. I'm 100% sure that's exactly what happened. So here's what GoPro did for me. They contacted me and they were like, you know what, we don't know that this was done on our part. Would it be okay if we included one of our brand new GoPro Hero 7 white edition cameras into the replacement? I was like, yeah, 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 yes, please. So yeah, I got this camera, this one, the one that you're watching. This is my GoPro Hero 4. I'm using this on my face because, uh, you know, I have all the microphone accessories and blah, blah, blah that I need for this particular camera. And then the white edition, the GoPro Hero 7 white, I will use that for my uh, my new selfie camera. Because you guys remember, I lost all my cameras. Whenever I moved to my new apartment, I, I did something. I lost all of my, my camera gear. So now I got two cameras. Got a GoPro Hero 4, which I'll use for uh, my face camera. And then I have a GoPro Hero 7 White that I'll use for my uh, my selfie camera. The only reason I, I'm, I'm not using the GoPro Hero 7 White right now is because uh, I'm still kind of getting used to its features or lack thereof. You really don't have much of a choice when it comes to the resolution that you use and all of that on it. It's like it's very, very pared down and dumbed down for your average user, I think. So I'm just making sure that I know what I'm doing with that new camera before I try and implement it. So that's my story. GoPro customer service, freaking awesome. Love you guys. You've got a customer for life. That's all I'm gonna say. They were like, hey, this nobody moto vlogger out in New York City is going through some shit. Let's help this brother out. And they absolutely did. Just the pure fact that they literally did not have to do what they did in order to make me happy, but they just decided to go above and beyond anyways. That's telling you something. 
That's called good customer service. And when I get served real nice slack, yeah, you win me. You win me over. I'll pay a little extra for the camera just so I can have a uh, good customer service experience in the future. Frick yeah. All right, kids. I hope you like this one. It's been a very interesting four weeks or so, but things are finally uh, resolved, I think. And luckily I had a backlog of uh, videos that I could kind of slowly trickle out to you. Anywho, all right, boys and girls. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I will see you in the next one.